Thank you for your purchase of the Gold Series X-Flow controller. This is an instructional video on how to install and set up the GSX controller. Camfill APC's GSX controller is a user-friendly controller for dust collectors. This intuitive controller will give you key information to inform you on how your dust collector is operating. The Gold Series X-Flow controller is designed to be mounted in most industrial environments. Its NEMA 4X enclosure allows it to be mounted outdoors as well as indoor dusty environments. Install your GSX controller in a location near the dust collector in preparation to be wired to the solenoid valves up on the collector. Camfill APC recommends mounting on a wall adjacent to the collector no further than 20 feet to minimize vibrations to the controller. You may choose to mount the GSX controller on the leg or structure of the dust collector if a wall within the appropriate distance is not available. Do not install these controllers in hazardous environments without suitable protection. Do not install this unit in an area of high vibration. Do not install this unit close to strong magnetic fields. Do not install conduit entries in the top of the controller. Conduit entries should always enter the bottom of the enclosure to avoid moisture from entering the controller. Improper installation will void the warranty. Once the GSX controller has been secured to either an adjacent wall or on the dust collector, you can then move on to wiring the GSX controller to the solenoids. Refer to the corresponding wiring diagrams in the back of your IOM manual for proper wiring of controller. Let's take a look inside. The GSX controller comes with a 10-pin timer module. There is also space in the enclosure for adding an additional timer module if necessary. For example, if your GSX controller is wired to a collector with four pulse valves, only four pins will be used. If you have more than 10 pulsing valves, an additional slave board will be required. If you have a unit that has more than 20 valves, you will start over at the number one pin. For example, if you have 24 valves, number 21 through 24 will be in pin one through four. These valves will be pulsed simultaneously meaning number 1 and number 21 will pulse at the same time. Now run pneumatic tubing from the pressure taps located on the GSX controller to the dust collector. Run one to the dirty or high pressure side and one to the clean or low pressure side. These tubes are necessary to monitor the pressure differential across the collector. Now that the controller has been installed, you're ready to move on to the controls. 